it's it's fifteen fourteen on the fourth of October, and unfortunately, due to asbos in the community of the southwest of Ireland, where um, the origins to Brexit and COVID have um, been brought into ex- existence, um, I between twenty seventeen and twenty nineteen laid the groundwork and foundation for that to become legislation. So that's COVID and Brexit that's being disrespected by ASBOs not treating their mental illness or not addressing their debts and that are still causing slander and still stealing. So I'm really concerned for people that have the best interests of humanity um, at heart and that are in favour of what has arisen from Brexit and COVID. Um, I've really been preparing for Brexit and COVID over two decades but between 2017 and 2019 when unlawful actions against my son occurred and um, individuals of debt evasion since 2005 uh, continued to make false reports and false allegations against my good name character and reputation and took my child illegally from me so they didn't observe royal protocol and they still haven't honoured their debts and they're still spending money they don't own so I'm just really curious about the people that have respect and consideration for the success of Covid and Brexit and with the health and wealth recovery that has arisen from me and those that have respect for other people's identities and privacy. There are people in this community, a collective that have damaged the arts, the heritage and the culture and they're spending money they simply don't own or that they can't afford to spend and they're really not safe offending all that legislation that came from my qualifications and credentials and they're still repeating the same conduct that actually caused all the problems that they are guilty of and that they haven't repaired. So this is for the European community and particularly um, those that have respect and consideration for the success of COVID and Brexit. Unless these people are um, brought to justice, um, I'm not lending any support to anyone benefiting from COVID or Brexit uh, with disrespect to my good name, character and reputation. Um, I do not support fraud. I do not support theft or I don't support corruption. So I'm of crime prevention and as a recovery advocate for nearly 20 years, an educator for longer, um, I'm going to just make it really, really honestly clear that those people that are still conducting the same behaviours that brought about the problems that caused Brexit and COVID are still active in society and authorities are well aware that my son is legally missing because of these people. So as my son is legally missing because of these people, they're being facilitated because they're neurotic about property in uh, Kilflin that I own and that they are not welcome on and they're still spending money that is stolen and that they don't um, have safety spending. They're, they're really not nom- n- nominated, I suppose, as uh, candidates for uh, professional standards, you know, that would be expected in these circumstances. So they're pre- occupied with stalking like it's really dangerous um we know their name we know who they are we know where they're from and they're really not safe offending the vatican or royal protocol and um they're up to witchcraft again that has already damaged society so this entire situation isn't exactly safe to be supporting for the little girls and boys that my humanitarianism has been a part of a rescue and recovery measure that as an educator and as a mother um, I have wanted this to be a safe society for everybody and that means everyone like you know enjoying democracy and democratic values and everyone respecting prosperity abundance but in the meantime the people that are uh, neurotic about my property are not paying their debts and they're spending dirty cash and that's from my royal names so these people are dirtying health and wealth recovery so this is really unsafe it's aspo behavior they're mentally uh, preoccupied with more problems troubles like this little island has experienced so many troubles because of these people that are most unwelcome and that have not got good faith um they've offended the church they've offended my nuptials they've enacted unlawful actions against my child they've offended my son's upbringing i'm still legally married i support myself and uh, there are people living off legislation that they haven't paid for so people have to pay for that 
kind of property as well. And uh, the government is fully aware that it's quite dangerous offending royalty and the government is fully aware of what's happened in the Ukraine. So the government is also aware that, um, you know, walking in on a mother uh, to accommodate more crimes that have caused Brexit um, isn't exactly intelligent behaviour. So this little island that is expecting a free run onto my land uh, while harming my child's hand, um, I really have concerns for you. Uh, it puts it all at risk. I'm not supporting any corruption that insults or injures the authenticity of COVID and Brexit that came from my academic research and recovery. So it's very simple. Those people that are on Stacks Mountain and Kilflynn of my uh, name, and portfolio are not welcome um, spending money. They're not spend. They're not welcome to mention my name. They're not welcome at 18 Rock Street stealing keys or anything like that. And they're not welcome with the Catholic Church. And they're not welcome with Salem. They've been offending Salem as well. So these people have done nothing right. They've only caused problems after problems after problems. So I hope all the European parliamentarians are aware of the land grab and the dirty cash that these people have circulated and the debts that they owe me since 2005. Health and wealth recovery has been damaged and this is because of people that have not got the dignity or the honesty to live up to the Declaration of Human Rights. So I hope the United Nations is insisting a crime against me um, to support land grab. It's disgusting. And as for the child that's missing from my care, I hope the Garda Shia Kona are aware of the dangers, you know. Unlawful care orders are quite serious. So as soon as the European Court of Human Rights is able to address uh, the parrots and puppies putting letters and words in people's mouths and uttering words on thought of, they might be careful before they insult people's intelligence. Um, those people that are in my proximity and that are speaking ill and stealing all around them are really not making our world safe. And we have seen already what has happened because of them being facilitated. So I hope European parliamentarians out there are aware of what I'm contending with. This is an urgent matter and there's a lot of fraud already after being addressed as a consequence of me. And the politicians up in Dublin playing dirty politics, facilitating more dirty behaviour, are not displaying positive mental health. And that insults the fellowship that I represent and it insults COVID. So I hope China and the zero tolerance policies are also brought into our awareness with regard to what I'm contending with. People speaking out of place with no position and no respect for protocol have not got a place. Any more crimes conducted against me and no debts met and my child not located and more of the same going on as before Brexit and COVID, then I can say that anything that becomes of what I am responsible for in social reform and social justice will ever have any um, support. It will not be supported committing crimes against the origins of COVID and Brexit from me personally. So uh, Europe there's a problem in the southwest of Ireland. It's a troubled island and that's due to the same usual suspects, culprits, thieves and slanderers that are offending the faith of the Catholic Church and Salem, I might add as well. They have not obeyed the law and they haven't obeyed the Constitution. It's really serious, the criminality I'm contending with. It's blasphemy and bigamy. So um, as a married mother, um, it's a sad sign of the times. I'd appreciate Europe, mainland Europe, um, addressing this for me as soon as possible. I'm healing and um, there are people still stirring trouble on this little island. It's really a sad sign of the times and the politicians up in Dublin aren't paying their dues and they're still using creative intellectual property from me. So they've insulted the constitution as well. It's very serious, uh, the crime prevention. I've been, I've been offended by crime. It's a sad sign of the times.